In this demo, I will show you how to build a number pyramid in Java using for loops. So here we have a class number pyramid, and you notice that we have several for loops in here. Before we zoom into the functioning of the class, let's execute it such that you have an idea about the output. So you can see a number pyramid. The first level is just value one. The second level is one, two. So we first count upwards and then we count downwards. Then one, two, three, two, one, up to level five, where we count up to the value five and then again downwards. To program this in Java, the first thing that we do is we define a constant max level. Remember, constants are defined as final static and here the constant is of integer data type, so it represents the maximum number of levels that we wish to print out on the console. We set it to five. Then we have our main method and we start with a for loop. The for loop is basically iterating through the different levels. So we start at level one and we go up to level five, each time incrementing the level with one unit. First, we're gonna print out the leading spaces. So here you can see at the first level, for example, we have some leading spaces right there. How many leading spaces we have? Well, actually, we have four leading spaces. Then we have another for loop, which is gonna do the upward counting. So one in the first level, one, two in the second level, one, two, three in the third level, and in the fifth level, that will be one, two, three, four, five. This is basically the for loop implementing the upward counting from one up to the level that we are considering. Then of course, we also need a for loop to do the downward counting. That means here, once we reach two, the next for loop or the third for loop in this case, will add one to the line. In our third line, we will have two and one that need, need to be added. So in other words, this for loop starts at level minus one up to digit bigger than or equal to one, each time decreasing the digit with one unit. So this is the for loop, which is implementing the downward counting. Once we have finished a particular level, we need to proceed to a new line. Hence, system out dot print line to actually take a new line. This is code that can very easily be adjusted because now we defined it for five levels in case you would like to define it for 10 levels, you just change the constant from five to 10, run the code back again, and you can see you have a nice number pyramid now with 10 levels instead. We hereby conclude this demonstration.